Let's talk about Rob and how he somehow turned a villa into his personal drama playground. His pattern was painfully obvious. He'd come in strong, full of charm, and make someone feel special only to lose interest as soon as they liked him back. Call it the Rob cycle, chase, win, move on. It's not romance, it's a game. What's frustrating is the lingering idea that Leah somehow owes Rob anything. Let's be clear, Leah doesn't owe Rob a thing. He blindsided her, made her question herself, and left her feeling embarrassed in front of everyone. That's not finding a connection, that's being careless with someone's feelings. Thankfully, Leah moved on and found Miguel, who is the exact opposite. Open, honest, and kind. Miguel brings out the best in her, and that's what matters. And then there's Andrea. Rob claimed he was all in with her, but when it came time to back it up, he stayed put, leaving confusion in his wake. He's not a villain, but he's clearly someone who struggles with honest communication, and that leaves a lot of hurt feelings in his path. As for Leah, she came out of the show stronger and more self-assured. Yes, there were conflicts, there always are in that setting, but she handled herself with grace and sincerity. The idea that she was painted as the problem doesn't hold up. She apologized where it was needed, made amends, and focused on what really matters, her happiness and personal growth. Here's the truth. Rob isn't the victim, and he's not misunderstood. He's someone who needs to work on how he treats others. Leah's story isn't about him, it's about her resilience and finding someone who truly values her. If you know someone still holding out hope for Leah and Rob, it's time to move on. Celebrate Leah's happiness with Miguel, a relationship built on mutual respect and care. That's the real win.